Yes, crazy. We're back now. Yeah. Continue, please. Now, you, you, you were saying about the festivals, and uh, I can remember that uh, I used to participate in uh, what they call the, uh, uh, on Alice Lassie's uh, birthday. Okay. But the people, uh, we would get together and, and recognize Alice Lassie and celebrate and reason with brothers and come up with new things. But it became what we call commercialized and it simply became a party to get together for those to make money off. Same. So the deeper message of advancement for Rasta was not accomplished. Same. And there was just a, a big celebration and after it was over, the vendors counted their money, the people had a good time dancing, and we went home and we remained in the same situation. Same. So are you saying that, that how the, the pan fest that was brought about is in that condition now? Yeah, because like last two years, um, it was sold out to the Joseph Project. Some people call it the Joseph Project. And that project is about? Um, the Joseph Project, I think it's, it's not black people own it. Ah. You see, that's why I was talking about Pana Fest is being sold out now. So our brethren in South Africa, they are really angry and they want to move the thing from Ghana to South Africa. Because how on earth could a man travel from South Africa to Ghana to come and sell and he doesn't make no money? Just because of how poor the festival is being organized. When Pan African Festival is about to begin, you see, you only see adverts when it's about one week to go, or maybe some days to go, mm. and now you can see the advert on the TV or on the radio. You see, but at least this this Pan African Festival must really be structurized because it's a way. It that is the only festival that. We find our brethren's and sisters coming. You see, coming to get coming. Mm -hmm. But when they come, what are they supposed to come and meet? Is it just set up and play music and just sell things? Mm -hmm. No. It mm -hmm. must be a festival that after you go to America, you, you realize no, you must go back to Africa. Mm -hmm. Because it must be a festival that so many things must be done. Mm -hmm. Naming ceremonies, you know, because people do come to Africa and re they, they really want an African name. Mm -hmm. Those ceremonies, or we, we must really be doing those things. Not only naming, but if we fix up things that will really make our brethren and sisters feel Africa, mm -hmm. then this is the home. You see, things that can really bring us together. Seminars in the Pan African Festival, then their best, the chiefs to talk to the people. You see, but they don't do anything like that. Mm -hmm. You don't even find one chief coming to the Pan African Festival. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you see, so all these things, then I really see that it's we Rastafari who understand this. See, so when we Rastafari, we don't rise to hold all these things. Then it means Africa is losing. Because His Majesty's children now are Rastafari. We now. We, His Majesty revealed Himself to us. So His policies and everything, we own it now. You see, the government, gen the government general, them, they will read more about Haile Selassie, but they will just read like they are reading stuff. Mm. But we understand because he revealed himself to me as Christ in a skinny character. So we understand his ways. Just like how they change organization of African unity to African Union. It is wrong. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's totally wrong. You see, because something that our fathers really said, they said this is an organization of African unity that will bring Africa together. You see, and now. They change the name as mm -hmm. African Union. So it means the policies definitely will change. 
It will definitely change. So right now, there is no strong hold of the um, heads of Africa trying to speak for Africa. They are all trying to find means that we and the people, I mean, the people in the West, not our versions of like the government in America, in Europe, in China, they're trying to find means that we partner up, partner up, partner up. And when them come to, I realize that what they do is they come to buy us, buy everything and own everything. Mm. Yeah, they own everything from mm. us. Right yeah. now, Ghana government don't have anything. You, you, you would mention our conversations a bit earlier. I don't know if we, we taped it, but it, it struck me when you were saying that the Chinese, the Lebanese, I have a great presence here yeah. and that they own uh, many of the factories. Could you speak to that once again, please, yeah. Pasquese? Natural, natural. This is a great problem we are having here because our factories, our stores, the big, big shops, all are owned by the Lebanese, the Indians, the Chinese. And what they do is they import the goods. So we here, we don't have factory that we produce our our own things. Like if you go to Kumasi, they have people, young boys who do shoe. They do shoe, nice shoe. But when you turn the shoe and you see under the shoe, they write made in Italy. Mm. Yeah, they write made in Italy just because the people don't accept made in Ghana goods. See, they prefer with shoe. They prefer shoe from Italy because they, they figure they they think shoe from Italy is good. Mm -hmm. So when our people do shoe here, they put made in Italy. Sometimes they do just bathroom slippers and they write made in China. It's hard for our people to do things and just say made in Ghana. Cause when you put made in Ghana in our cell, mm. in our cell, there is a man who is producing TV. He makes TV, he makes cars. I don't know whether you've heard about him. They mm. call him Kantanka. Yeah. He's a Ghanaian. Kantanka? Well, Kantanka. Mm -hmm. He's a Ghanaian, but he, he's, he's stayed, he's ever lived in abroad, you know. So he's come back with that technology. And his TV, when he does TV, you don't switch it with remote control. You stand before the TV and clap. Mm. And the TV comes on. He does so many things, refrigerator, mm -hmm. and con so many things, but the government are not helping him. They're not even mm. putting anything. You see, and this man, every time he buys airtime on TV, advertises himself, promotes his work. My lord, you see, the man does great, great works. The man produces car, car, jeep car, big car. He produces um, cement. Um, a machine that if you want to cut cement blocks the machine can cut about 50 blocks at a time just mm. one time it cuts 50 blocks and we have all these potentials like how, as I was saying about the shoe mm -hmm. with my meditation I think it's good that since this Chinese this Lebanese them have come to take everything from us at least we have to also do our thing why don't the government create just a factory and now all the youth in Kumasi who really know how to do shoe, they must be employed. Um, those who know how to sew, dress, mm -hmm. those who know how to fix beats, so that we can have some company like you know, African production company mm -hmm. or Ghana production that you will find our youth doing work putting made in Ghana product there, mm -hmm. that the government can sell it out to, you know, mm -hmm. instead of importing the goods that we can do. Because we can do shoe, we can do crew, we can do everything, but still they import all those things. Okay, we're going to switch one more time.